Yo, what's up ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to another video and today I'm going to show you how to make 1 million coins on FIFA 22. So there are lots of ways to do coins on FIFA and today I'm going to show you depending on your budget. It doesn't matter if you have 10k on your uh, screen, if you have 100k, 200k or even a million coins. If you have any of those budgets, I'm going to show you how to duplicate your money and how to have more coins on FIFA 22. So the first method is if you have a low budget and by low budget I mean between like 10k or 50k. And that budget will allow you to trade with silver cards. Now, silver rare cards in top five leagues can be expensive. And it depends if there is league SBCs or if we're at the start of the game, there is no league SBCs. And it depends on the prices. It can fluctuate a lot, but you can snipe and trade them. So what you're gonna do is number one method, go to silver rare, put on premier league, league uh, or whatever it is. So as you can see, 600 coins is the cheapest for the Premier League. So what you're going to do is sort it to 550 and you're going to try to snipe them. You can get a lot of deals by this and now I'm going to show you real quick how to get one deal. It should pop up on the screen. Like you can give something, as you can see, 450. We didn't got that, but if you can try, do a couple of times, you're going to get some deals. Let's try to get this. Nope. You see, it's, it's, it's hard, it's not easy because there's a lot of competition in this, but they're pop off, they're popping off and you're not waiting as long as much. So we're gonna try a little bit more. I'm a retired sniper, boys. Uh, so we got, we got this card. Now, I don't know how much it goes, rate. Let's check it out, let's do a compare method. And rate is going for like, yeah, just the discard value. Let's put it up on 700 coins. So that we bought for 550, 700 coins. That's uh, like 100 coins. It's not that much, but if you can repeat this, you can uh, do yourself like 10K, 15K, and it's your starter method. So if you can go to like another league, let's check the French league. So on the French league, there is a lot of players and they're actually cheap. So you don't want to go to the French league. Let's try Serie A, for example. Serie A is a good one because there is not a lot. So let's, uh, 600 is the cheapest on the Serie and it got bought, maybe like 650, uh, 700. Okay, so uh, Serie A are expensive. So what you're gonna do is put on 700 coins and trade them. If, nah, we didn't got that. Did we get this? Nah. So as you can see, there is a lot of competition on this. As you can see, we got this one. Uh, we got for 550 and it was like quite generic, easy, easy method. So this card is going for maybe actually a thousand coins, maybe. Oh, I can't see a thousand coins for this card. Uh, yeah, if you're, yeah, thousand coins easily, boys. So we got that for 550 and he's going for a thousand coins. So that's uh, around 400 coins of profit, which is really good. Like if you can do this process 10 times, that's 4,000 coins. So really easy method and really nice profitable way. A coffee sip with me. The second method boys is to trade players that are essentially a striker or a cam to another position. So let's take an example. For example, Haaland is, uh, is a striker, okay? So, but what you're gonna do, Haaland's cheapest card is around 64k, uh, I think so, yeah, 63, 64k. So what you're gonna do is apply like the midfielder camp style. So you're gonna go and check what's the cheapest, 65k as a CDM, that's a good deal. I think that's a good deal because let's check what's the cheapest one as a CDM for Haaland. If there is like a 70k on Haaland as a CDM, that's a good deal. So there, there are two or three, but you can buy the 65k and wait for like two, three hours and eventually you're gonna sell it for 70k. 
So that's a method. But if you don't have a lot of coins, maybe go for another player like Martial. Martial right now is uh, around like 8,000 points. So the profit margin is a lot higher. So let's try uh, Martial. So 8,000, okay, as you can see, around 9,000 coins for Martial as a midfielder, where he's going for, I think like 8,000 coins for his normal card. Uh, let's check it out. Yeah. As you can see, it's 8,000 coins. So there is a margin of 1,000 coins if you can get the cheapest one as a midfielder. So that applies on many cards. If it's a center mid, you can buy him as a striker, as a center forward. And instead of people applying the chemistry style, you're gonna buy them and essentially uh, sell them for a higher. So what you're gonna do is try actually to snipe that Martial. Uh, put like a midfielder on Martial and try to snipe it for 8,000 coins. As you can see, we got one and someone bought that. So you're gonna try doing this and eventually you will get some really good deals. Try midfielders to forwards, uh, forwards to midfielders and uh, it goes the same. So let's try to snipe one more time Martial. Let's go, finally boys, finally, I got a card and it's a center mid Gabriel Jesus with a hunter. Not only it's a striker to center mid, but also it has a hunter on it. So let's check it out the market around for Gabriel Jesus as a center mid first. So at the center mid, Gabriel Jesus, there is 9,000, okay, there is a lot. Uh, but let's check it out with a hunter. Uh, with a hunter, 9,900. So around 9,700. So I bought for, I think, 8,600. So that's a thousand coins profit, which is really good. Uh, where is he? Not this one, this is mine actually. So I sent you up, there you are my boy. So I bought him for 8,600 and we can sell him for 9,700. If you, you can be patient and list it up for 9,800 or 9,900, but I'll just take the coins at 9,700. So that's a thousand coins profit. So repeat this method, go to Fitbin, check what's the popular players, and accordingly to your budget, set the players. If it's you have 10K, put a card that has like 7K and try to bid uh, the midfielder or attacker way and try to buy position modifier players. And you're gonna do like a thousand coins on each player. Do this method 10, 15 times a day. You're gonna, like every single minute, it's gonna pop out five to 10 players. So it's easy to snipe them in, and you're not getting bored. So this is another really cool method for like a cheap budget. The third method that I'm gonna show you is again, for a cheap budget, by cheap budget, I mean from zero to 100K. And it's, camp style players. As you saw, I bought Gabriel Jesus with a hunter and this applies to uh, many cards. Like if it's an attacker, you want to buy them with a, a hunter. If there are defenders, you're gonna buy them with some shadows. So let's take the example of Gabriel Jesus. Let's go to the market and let's check Gabriel Jesus' price as uh, without any camp styles. So Gabriel Jesus, the cheapest one on the market is around, let's check uh he's around maybe 8600 points so let's check it out with the cheapest with a hunter for gabriel jesus uh it should be like at least maybe 500 points more uh not that much but at least it's a 300 coins more so what you're gonna do is like put on maybe 8200 and try to snipe him with some hunter camp styles and that will give you a thousand coins more on uh, if you can snipe one. Let's go, let's go, we got one. I'm telling you, I'm not retired, boys. I'm getting back to sniping people. So we got that for 23,750. And 
I'll put that for 27 coins. I, I can be patient. I can sell that for 27,000 coins and that's at least like 3,000, 3,500 coins. And with those methods, slowly but surely, you're gonna make coins. That's eventually how you're gonna make coins. Like if you have 10K, you're gonna go to a higher budget. 10K will make you 20, 20 will make you 40. So that's how you're gonna reach. The, the, the hardest part is going from zero to 100K. After that, it's, lot, it's easier to go from 100K to a million, I swear, man. Let's go, we got another one at 24,000 coins. So as I said, I'm gonna list this up for 27,000 coins. Now, the other method, guys, is to snipe icons. Sniping icons can be really, really frustrating and it can be really time-wasting, but it could be really efficient. Now, you can spend an hour, two hours without getting any, but if you get one, this could be very efficient. Like, imagine getting a Brazilian icon that you sniped it for 100K and it goes to a million coins. That's like, you get rewarded for two hours, you got a million coins, and that's very easy. But as I said, the only uh, downside is it that you're gonna spend a lot of time without getting even a card. And I can compare the icon sniping stuff to, you know, that jam thing, that you're gonna dig the jam for five hours and it's so close to get it, but you can hit it one time and you're gonna get it. So you can never know when you're gonna get the icon sniping. So you can do your stuff for two, three hours, never get it, but one minute you can get one uh, great deal, snipe it and, have, and make a million coins. So it depends on how much time do you have and how much patience do you have. The fourth type of doing coins on FIFA, and that's related of like investment slash trading is FODA. Tell me boys. It's good fodder. It's good fodder. So, uh, trading fodder, right now, fodder is on the floor. Like, I can tell you, take an example, like, let's let's see Akuna. Akuna Matata. It's an 84 rated card, and it's going for, wow, lower than 2,000 coins. And that's, wow, man. That's really cheap. That's really fucking cheap, man. It's the lowest as it can be. Cards like this can easily go at 10k at some point and you know eventually they will go. So if you have like a spare 50k right now, I'm gonna tell you just buy some fodder. Buy some 83, 84s. It can't, it, 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 it's not possible that they will go lower. Because it's the first day of FIFA, like there is no SBCs. And each year, this trends happen. They go from 2,000 coins to 5,000 coins to 10,000 coins from now to a month. And that's really good to trade. So if you have like a spare 50k and each card is around 2,000 coins, you're going to get yourself around like 22 to 25 players. And uh, do the math. If each player goes times 5, if each player is 2,000 coins and it goes times 5 to 10,000 coins, you're going to make your 50k times 5. So that's 50 games times 5, it's 250,000 coins or you can be patient to 300,000 coins from now to a month. So that's really a good way to trade, invest and be patient with your cards. Uh, as you can see, we got one at 1,700 coins, less than 2,000 coins for an 84 rated Argentinian from La Liga, which is very linkable guys. And it's left back too. The fifth method that I'm gonna show you, I think it's the fifth method, I'm not sure, maybe it's the sixth one, but anyways, is to trade team of the week cards, but trade them with some special like uh, camp styles. And how are you gonna trade them? There is a special fertile, which is the 10, 20, 30,000 coins method. So what you're gonna do is apply 10,000 coins minimum buy now, max price 20,000 coins, max uh, minimum buy now 30,000 coins. And that's the 10, 20, 30,000 coins method. So what this apply is like uh, cheap cards, 
you can get wants to watch still uh, on open bids if you want to say but you have a lot of cards and right now it's just team of the week too uh, and if you do this method on team of the week 7 8 9 10 you're gonna have a lot more opportunities more cards more variety and more chances to win so just go to this method apply the shadow cam style or the hunter cam style and what you're gonna have is cards on open bid that are usable and uh, they have uh, they have uh, good usability and open bids when I was doing this on my spare time I got look at this I got Zakaria I got him and I sold him I bought this card for 43,000 coins with a shadow and that was really good and I'm sold him for 50,000 coins and that's around 10,000 coins or after tax I got this Diaz at 12,250 coins with the hunter and he's going for 14,500 points. I'm patient with that, so I'm putting at 15,500 and that's like 2,000 coins after tax. So just do this method. Uh, maybe if you don't have a lot of cards, change it to hunter. And I'm telling you, uh, you're gonna wait, you're gonna have more team of the weeks coming out and a lot of chances will be created. Uh, for example, this Barilla is a good one. Uh, Felipe Anderson is a good one. Uh, let's see, Osiman maybe at 12,000 coins is a shout out. Now, another method, but this applies if you have so many coins, and by so many coins, I'm talking about like 400k, 500k, is to trade icons and trading icons on open bids. What I mean by that, you're gonna set your filter to 150k on minimum buy now, or like the second filter, and the third filter you're gonna apply on 250k. And what that does uh, apply is you're gonna have your icons on open bids. And by having icon open bids, you're gonna have so many good deals. Like you're gonna get some icons on 50K lower than the price, 60K, 70K. And if you put like, uh, let's say 100K icon on a watch list every single day, you'll get at least one or two good deals. And this will have, or you can get your icon for your team cheaper, or you can have and trade them but you need to make attention for the tax tax is very high on the big cards like if you're trading a card that's a million coins the tax is 50k so what you need to do you need to make sure that the card that you're gonna get is 100k plus as profit so the 50k can go to the tax and 50k can get for you so this method is really good even and most of the time when there is panic selling when there's panic selling everyone is selling their cards massively especially icons they're putting their icons left right center as open bids and you can get some great deals I remember last year I got a Roberto Carlos 300k less than the price and that was massive imagine getting a Roberto Carlos because there's panic they're selling their cards you can get your card 300k less than that so trading icon is very efficient very popular and you can make the most coins out of it now i don't know on which method we are i don't know uh, the number maybe seven or eight or nine i think it's nine it's trading wants to watch boys now trading wants to watch is very delicate and for that reason i'm going to do a separate video on it but the essential that you need to know is buying and selling wants to watch cards and that's when the hype begins you need to buy the wants to watch card whenever the card scores a goal or uh and not after like five or ten minutes so i did a separate video you can check it out uh so you can know better about how to uh, to trade wants to watch but trading wants to watch can make a lot of profit for you but one of the things that you can do while trading the wants to watch cards is buying them after that they get released after that they get upgraded because the path with want to watch cards are that they always crash after getting the upgrade like whenever someone gets the upgrade after three hours of the upgrade they get the lowest point and that's where you want to step in boys you want to step in buy the card and you're gonna make after one day you're gonna make like 20 30k or even even 100k uh, a card so i'm gonna do a separate video on what's to watch so you can get and know better but this is the essential that you need to know and boys this brings to our last method and it's a type of investing it's not really about trading and it's to buy the discord's team of the week i know that you're going to tell me discord's team of the week never goes up but trust me boys there is a week in fifa i don't know when i don't know how 
where team of the weeks goes extinct this happened in fifa 21 and in fifa 20 i'm gonna put you on the screen some examples of that but trust me guys it happens it always happens so in each fifa i mean in each team of the week you're gonna have a discard team of the week value which is from the top five leagues like a frenchman from the league uh, an englishman from the premier league i mean some good nationalities in uh some good leagues you're gonna want to pick them up like it's 10k if you invest in every single team of the week and let's say it's each one is 10k do it for 15 weeks so that's 150,000 coins on 15 weeks but there is a point in fifa where your cards will go extinct and we're talking about 50k or 70k a card so if you bought 15 of them and each one goes like if you bought that for 150k and each one goes times five so we're speaking about at least 800 coins to a million coins if you bought like 15 of them which is huge boys which is huge like you can get them store it in your club forget about it and at some point boom you have a million coins on your uh, on your list so that's really good instead of losing coins on players buying cards losing them coins losing 15k 20k 100k card you can buy those cards invest that in them and there is a, a point i guarantee you where cards will go extinct so that's it boys thank you so much for watching i hope that you can go easily by zero to 100 million imagine 100 million yeah 100 million good good job good job i mean to a million coins to two million coins three million coins easily thank you so much for watching and i will see you on another video man peace